Okay, so step one is to go to smarttech.com and set up your Smart Learning Suite online account. You'll see this button here, complimentary Smart Learning Suite online. Click on that and then fill in all your details and click on start your complimentary access. Step two is to go to interactivelessons.com.au and log on to your account. Then you need to search for a lesson that you want to share with your students. You need to find a lesson that has the SLSO download button. For an example, going to search lessons, we're going to look for blends. And as you scroll down, you'll see that there are some that have this SLSO button. So for this example, we're going to look at initial consonant blend DR learning at home version. And you'll click on the SLSO download button and that will download for you. Step three is to sign into your Smart Learning Suite online account that you just set up. This time go to smarttech.com and click on sign in Smart Learning Suite online. You may be prompted to enter your username and password or it might remember you if you've already signed in before. Step four is to import that lesson that you just downloaded from interactivelessons.com.au into your SLSO account. So you click on the green button that says add activities, then select import resource. Now you need to find the resource in your downloads folder that you just downloaded. Select it and click on open. It might take a few minutes to set up the lesson in Smart Learning Suite Online, be patient. When the lesson has fully imported into SLSO, it will open up in edit mode. Step five is to edit the lesson. So you need to go through each page. If the page requires a student to actually do something, there'll be an instructions tab that you can have a look at and it tells them what to do. You then need to convert that activity to an individual handout activity. So down the bottom here, click on convert to activity and select make this page an individual handout activity. Go to the next page, you'll see that this one is already um, an activity for student devices. The next one, they're being asked to select the pen and trace the words and write the words. So you need to convert that activity to an individual handout. The same with the next page, convert to activity, make this page an individual handout activity, and the next page is already an interactive game. Then you can go up here and change the title of the lesson so that it makes sense for your students. So you could just say blends DR, and then click on finish editing. The next step is to get the link for the student access. So you're going to click on the three dots at the bottom right hand corner of the lesson that you just edited and you'll go to share link. Select this button that says get student access link. Wait for that link to come up and then click on copy. And finally, you need to get that link for your students out to them so that they can click on it and interact with the activity. Now, this can happen via any communication platform that you are currently using. It could be Google Classrooms, Edmodo, or email. I'm going to show you an example of an email. The first time your students do connect to a student link, 
they will be required to enter some details, but after that first time, it's just as easy as clicking start. So they do need to have a school email address in order to be able to access the link. So you would write the following information, these steps for them to follow, and then you simply right click and paste the link that you just copied right there and send it to them. I hope that's helped. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can email me, susan at interactivelessons.com.au or you can call me on 0409 522 556.